Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play the trombone. So the first thing we're going to do is open the case and take out all the pieces. There should be three. You will have your slide, the main part, and the mouthpiece. So you're going to take this piece and hold it like this. And you're going to take your slide and the part that has the longer end, that part goes into here. And then you kind of want to put some pressure on it so when you tighten the screw, it doesn't fall out when you're playing. You want to make sure that the slide is parallel to the horn. And so once you have that in there, you just tighten the screw. And it's important to always have your slide lock on if you're not playing. So there's a little piece here. Just make sure it's always locked. So once you have this set up, you're going to take your mouthpiece and put it in the other hole. And you don't want to push it in too far because it can get stuck. So, so you just want to lightly just put it in there. It won't fall out. To take care of your trombone, you can soak it in like a bathtub with warm water. Or if you're just trying to clean the slide, you can just run some warm soapy water through the trombone so it gets in the slide. Another tip about maintenance, um, you never want to lean on it because if the slide gets dented in any way, it could be really, really bad and you'd have to spend money to get it fixed. So never, never lean on the trombone. And then... And then you also need to make sure the slide stays lubricated and there are a lot of different things that you can use to make sure that the slide still works because if the slide doesn't stay lubricated you won't be able to play it as well. So to keep the slide lubricated you can use slide cream and water. Um, there are a lot of alternatives you can also use. There are a lot of lubricants. If you go to an auto parts store there are a lot of lubricants that they use for cars that you can also use on trombones. Um, it's completely safe and it really makes your trombone slide go that much better. So the right way to hold the trombone is to hold it in your left hand and so your thumb is going to be on the inside of this bar here. This finger goes here against this bar and puts pressure here and then your other three fingers wrap around on the inside here. And then in your right hand you're going to be moving the slide and the right way to hold the slide just have two fingers here and two fingers here and then your thumb just resting here. For posture, if you're standing up, you just have to hold it like this. And if you're sitting down, it's kind of it's more difficult because you're gonna be reading music from the stand. So you kinda of have to angle yourself. So for for breath support, there has to be a lot of it because the trombone requires an extensive amount of air just to get the sound out. A lot of people struggle with this because if they don't know how to play an instrument, if it's their first time, they're not going to realize how much air it actually takes. It's really important to send the air as quickly as you can through the trombone and you do that by breathing through your mouth. You're going to be getting a lot more air if you take really deep breaths and hold it right here right before you Low. Inhale, you have to make sure all of your air is kind of centered in like your stomach. And when you when you put the air through the trombone, it needs to be well supported. The air needs to be well supported because once you start blowing through the trombone, you're gonna have different sounds depending on how you're breathing as well. Some good breathing exercises include trying to imagine that you're blowing to the other side of the wall as hard as you can and with as much power because the stronger your breath is the better your sound is going to be so the sound will be better once the student learns how to breathe properly and have the breath well supported you need to make sure that when you breathe the air has to be constant and steady regardless of how of what you're playing and if you're playing anything the high notes require faster and the low notes require slower air so so you need to be able to change the speed of your breath in order for the notes to come out. So you need to be able to breathe without tension because you need to be completely relaxed but still have a good amount of support in order to get the air out. Some breathing techniques include taking little sips of air like <laughs> in either triplets or sixteenths and do it to a rhythm. You can also like 
beats. You can also inhale for four beats and then exhale for four beats and then you can make it longer and longer. So for the embouchure, it's similar to the trumpet and the flute. As a flute player, it's easy for me to do the embouchure because it's very similar and, and we also have to put an immense amount of air through the flute to get the high notes to come out. So for the embouchure, you're going to want to have the corners of your lips pressed together. So it's going to look like this. Your embouchure can also change depending on your lower lip. Sometimes you need to push it in a little bit more to get certain notes to come out. It helps that if you're teaching someone how to play trombone, to have them buzz on the mouthpiece before actually playing the trombone because since there are different ways to get the notes to come out, each person needs to find like the best way to get the notes to come out and have the sound be really good. So to start buzzing, just put it to your lips and and so your lips have to be relaxed because if they're clenching, you're not going to be able to get any sound to come out. And you, you also have to make sure that your teeth aren't together. You have to open your mouth because if you like drop your jaw, it's also going to get a more richer sound. So when you're tonguing on the trombone, your tongue actually has a lot to do with how the notes sound when they come out. So it's basically if you want to do like you kind of have to relax your you kind of have to relax your lips a little bit in order to tongue um, and also if you're trying to go from like a lower note to a higher note your tongue can move around a lot it'll go up and down and like kind of towards the back of your mouth and to the front so it depends on what sound you're trying to get out because there are different techniques to get the sounds. If you are trying to go from a lower note to a higher note, your tongue will kind of make a tie and like your your jaw will move as well. So when it's like <laughs> it'll sound like you're saying tie, but you're actually just trying to move your tongue in order to get that sound to come out. So there are a lot of positions for the notes that are on the trombone. So first position is you can't go up any further. So it's just right here. You don't move the slide. Third position's a little bit in front of the bell. And then fourth position's a little bit after the bell. Fifth is like here. Sixth position. And seventh position. And so there are no real positions on the trombone because there's no saying as to where the notes are because every single trombone is different and certain notes can get flatter or sharper depending on which way you move the slide. And so they're like a rough estimate of where they are on the trombone. And so the trombone positions are built in like half steps. So E flat it would be in third position and then E would be a half step up in second position and then F would be in first position. So there are a lot of alternate positions as well, so you can get B, you can get B here, and you can also get B in seventh position. Alternate positions make it easier to play harder pieces or parts of songs. So there are also um, different attachments you can get for the trombone, so you can play higher and lower notes. And so we're gonna start off with the C major scale. So for C, you start off in sixth position. D is in 4th position, E is in 2nd position, F is in 1st, G is in 4th, B is in 4th, and high C is in 3rd. So since there are only 7 positions in the louder notes, all the positions have multiple notes and the way you get certain notes out, if it's a lower note you have to relax your embouchure more, and if it's a higher note you kind of have to tense everything up to get the higher notes out and you also have to put more air through it as you as you go along. So A A is in third position, and then B is in fourth or seventh. C is in sixth, D is in fourth, E is in second, F is in first, and G is in fourth. So there are 
So to get D out, you have to kind of relax a little more, and to get G out, you kind of have to tense up a little more to get those sounds out. So this also has to go along with the embouchure when you are trying to get the sound to come out. You have to have your breath supported, you have to have the right embouchure, and you want to hear like a rich sound when you're, when you're playing. So... You should get a really rich sound, so I'll play a C major scale. One thing that'll help your sound production is to do long tones and to really make sure you're listening for the sound that you need.